We're gonna perform a starter voltage drop test. But before we do that, we wanna make sure that our battery is fully charged. The tool you'll need for that is a voltmeter. You can pick one of these up at your local auto parts store. However, make sure that the one you pick up has a 20 volt scale on it. That's what we'll be using for this test. I'll put that on there for reference. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my positive side on the positive terminal and my negative side on my negative terminal. We have a 12.79. It has a little bit of a surface charge. You can generally get rid of that by turning on your headlights for about a minute or so. Now that we know that we have a good battery, we're gonna continue with our test. Now the starter in many vehicles is located in different areas. And this one here just so happens to be underneath this air cleaner. So we're gonna remove this air cleaner. Now we'll remove this. We'll take that out of the way. Now that we can see and access our starter, the next step is to disable the starting system. Now we can either do that by disabling the ignition system or the fuel system. On this particular vehicle, we actually lucked out because the fuse box inside the engine compartment contains both fuses, one for the ignition and one for the fuel injection. I think I'm gonna remove the fuel injection fuse because it's the easiest to do. I'm just going to put this tool in here and pry out the fuse. Now that we've disabled the fuel injection system, the car shouldn't start anymore. Now we're going to put our voltage meter again, set it at 20 volts. I'm going to turn it on here. Put it on here for everybody to see. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test our negative side first. The way we do that is by taking our positive volt lead, putting it on the battery, and taking our negative voltmeter test lead and putting it on our negative side here of the starter. Now we wanna make sure we have a good solid ground before we even crank over the engine now we want to see something below 0.5. Okay, that was a very good reading. Now we're going to do the other side, which is the positive side. And we're going to take off this test lead here. And we're going to take off the positive test lead here. Now for the positive side, we're going to do the complete opposite. I'm going to put the negative test lead on the positive post of the battery. Let me get a good handle of this here. Now I'm gonna put my positive test lead on the positive side of the starter here. I'm gonna get a good clean connection here. Nice and tight. And on this one here we wanna see a voltage drop less than 0.3. That's awesome. Okay, as you can see, our voltage readings are actually pretty good. There's almost zero resistance on these wires, which makes it perfect. And that's how you conduct a battery voltage drop on the starting side. If you have questions, contact our Technical Support Center to talk to one of our ASE certified technicians. Our technicians are available seven days a week. In the United States, call 800-228-9672. And in Mexico, call 1-800-767-0210. Furthermore, if you have issues that may lead to returning a part, please call our Call Before You Return hotline at 888-933-9065 and our technicians will help troubleshoot the issues you may be having. Powered by MPA.